Hello everybody and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Now before I go into what I'm doing, this is not live, this is a recording. Um, I have things to do Wednesday so I know I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, and as such, I am pre-recording this. Now anyone who is just tuning in and doesn't know, I do stream. All of my videos, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday are streams that I do during the day and I would love for people to watch them um, if they don't get a chance to see my streams. Now this is one that I've been doing for a little while now. Uh, essentially without going too much into it, if you haven't seen any of my live streams then um, in this what I've done is I broke the game. I essentially took on a job then rage quit out but when I came back in, I owned the car. I still had the car in the garage, but I had no mission anymore. Which meant that I could sell the car for its full value, essentially. Because the car was nothing wrong with the car at that point. So I got a full value of, of the car. That then allowed me to go to um, a barn. Because I've, I've, I've always seems to have a couple of barn locations. And in the barn was the car that you are looking at right now. It was the only car. So I am testing this theory. Because the one thing I don't... See, yeah, I can show you all of the phone calls. There's loads of people with issues. However, none of these issues are story issues. They're all just side jobs. And I think that's broken. I think because I didn't complete the story mission, yet it cancelled it for some reason, it meant that actually now... I have no mission. I have no job. Um, so that's a little bit annoying. But for me to now make money, what I need to now do is I need to buy wrecks like this, do them up as best I can, and then sell them on for decent money. So as you can see, I have completely rebuilt the entire engine block. The entire engine block is completely rebuilt. The only thing I want to do now, I've still got some bits that need fixing. I haven't finished it 100%. Um, plus, I want to change the uh, the rims and the tyres. Rims and tyres. And any brake parts that are terrible, basically. I want to make sure that this car is roadworthy, but has a brand new engine and brand new tyres and brakes. Now, I'm a little bit annoyed because I would love to replace all the red parts of this car um, but I don't want to remove the entire car plus the, the actual bodywork is going to be rusty simply because I don't have a spray kit yet so I can't respray the car so it's going to be rusty no matter what I do I can't get rid of that it's just annoying um, but if we look at the car see some of it is red anything that's in orange or, or, or above I'm just going to be fine with um, you see there's a whole br bunch of stuff that I can't even check. And then this is the stuff I haven't put back yet. Um, I've, I, 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 what I've done, the thing I need to put on now, I, for I, I remembered. Because I forgot from last time. Essentially, I rebuilt the engine, but the uh, gearbox is what's, da is what's damaged. Is what I have to put back on. Sorry, it's not damaged. Well, it might be. But basically, I took it off and I, uh, because I had to to remove the engine. Um, it's up here. So it's going to be on the side here. So what I've been doing is I mount apart. The whole of the engine block I wanted new. Because the whole engine block can be seen from the outside of the car. <laughs> The rest of the parts, if they are orange or above, it's good enough for me. Red is not good enough. So clutch pressure plate. So let's get a new one of those. There you go. 
go. And then the plan is, sorry, I, I trailed off. I didn't actually go into what the plan is. The plan is that I want to see if I can add value to the car and not just the value of the parts. So the one thing I don't want to happen is that, you know, I add, like, let's say I add 10 grand's worth of parts to the car and the value of the car goes up 10 grand. Because what's the point of that? What's the point of that? What what, what would be the, the, the purpose of me going to all the bother of doing that? Oh, we need a new uh, V8 Hove gearbox. It's going to be expensive, I think. It's quite a big part. Uh, gearbox V8 uh, v Gearbox V8 Hove It's that one. Oh yeah, that's expensive But I do have a bit of money So I don't mind doing it this way And yeah, because it's just the way I look at it If it is 100% just a case of okay so that's on and we can fit all the drive shaft uh, okay well it's red so we'll change it it's just a plain old drive shaft isn't it Well, it better be, that's a lot of money. Um, <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, because, um, I mean, at the moment, doing the, doing the little missions that you get from people is not cost-effective or good for um, experience at all. So I'm kind of hoping that doing all of this gives me the ability um, gives me the ability to uh, make some decent money. So I've still got oh yeah, it's a bunch of stuff under the car that I need to clip in. I don't know how those clips are, but let's. Um, let's have a little look. So yeah, here we go. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, we've got the oil filter. It's, it's bad. So we'll change the oil filter. Oil filter. V8 Hove. And we'll get that in place. I'm really hoping that um, this does make a difference. Let's mount that. And we've got all these bits. We've got loads of, of caps. Now we do have a couple of caps that are quite bad. But we'll worry about them when we get to them. And the way it works is there's essentially two per each piston group. There's a the crankshaft bearings, they're both fine. I think there's two more that are okay, and I think I might have to get two myself, I think. Okay. And we got you. We'll do. And then we've got, oh, oh now we've got another one here. Oh, we have none. Okay, so what is that? Crankshaft bearing cap. I think we needed... How many of those do we need? Uh, oh, hold on. Hold on. So we've got crankshaft bearing cap there. We have no more. Just making sure there's none here. There doesn't appear to be. So it's just one more... Cap. 
crankshaft bearing caps, they're, they're not a problem at all as far as the money goes. Do this one. And what have we got? We've got rod cap, rod cap, rod cap, rod cap. So we've got four. But we only have... Oh, we have one. In fact, I'm just going to buy four. I'm just going to buy four rod caps. And then I'll just do that. Uh, rod cap. There we go. Put these in. I feel like I've still got a serpentine belt, but I'm not 100% sure where it goes. Because I've got most of the engine back put back together now. There it is. I knew there would be a fourth. They're in pairs. There's no reason why it wouldn't be. Aha, uh -huh. now we can put the oil pan on. I have no item. Ooh, I have no item. Oil pan. So the car didn't come with one. <laughs> Oil pan V8 hove. Uh, yep. We'll, 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 I'm hoping that's the one. Yeah, looks like it. There we go. And now we can actually put the oil in it. There it is. Aha, uh -huh, there's the serpentine belt. Ah, oh, okay, so as far as I'm aware, that's everything we can do for the engine uh, and the underside of the car. We are going to come back and do the tyres and brakes and things, but we'll do that in a minute. I'm just going to... Uh, say that, there's one more belt at the front. Uh, that will do. Giving me the radiator fan, which we do have... Oh nice, a 93% one. So that can fit straight on. That's good enough. I feel like I got that from somewhere. So that's on. Look at that. Looking lovely. Um, now I can check. Uh, is everything actually on the car? There's a bunch of stuff we don't know about. But everything is actually on the car. So now what I want to do... Is how do we put oil in this car? If I wanted to drive it, I don't know that I could. Um, uh, uh, can I? Aha, uh -huh, I can do it there. Basically, if I run this through my little test track in the other room, it will tell me everything about the brakes. So that's kind of what I want to do. So can I... Uh, will it let me? I can! Ha ha ha! And now, let's before we run it, let's just have a quick look. And see, so on the list, we've got al almost two pages worth of things that we know nothing about. So let's run the test. Hold the brakes. Go forward. Hold the brakes. Go forward. And then we bounce a bit. And it all falls off. <laughs> well, that's really good to see that I've managed to get the car up and running. Because when I started last week, um, it wasn't even running. There it goes. Okay, so there's all the extra stuff it's told us about. Oh, look at that. Some terrible bits. Brake calipers, suspension arm. Rubber brush in, brake drum. Okay, well that's good to know. Now we're going to move you. Oh, that's overview mode. It's a 
whole new engine in the middle. Look at that. Um, okay, so let's move you to lifter. And now, do we know more? Yeah, we've now we've we've made up about half a page to a page, roughly. I want to take care of the tyres and the brakes. So let's get that done right now. Because you see, technically everything is on the car. Let's take this off. Oh yeah, look at that. That is terrible. So, I mean, the brake caliper and the, and the cylinders aren't that bad. The brake pads, they're still 44%. Take this off. Yeah, that's, that's not great. Um, see, the problem really is knowing... The one thing I want to get rid of or, or replace is this. Double wishbone shock absorber. Because these things can be seen from inside the car, and I want them to look nice. Um, this is this the wishbone? Can I see? Yeah, that's red. That's not bad. That's red. So I need to replace those. That's okay. Ah, oh, okay. Um, all right. Well, that is in itself pretty bad. Pretty bad. <laughs> and it's like I don't know quite how much money I am going to have if I replace everything. Let's take the steering. I can't quite. I've got to go. Ah, yeah. You have to start with these things. Well, I mean, I could. I could just do the brakes. I could leave everything else. I don't know. Look, this is my first full kind of. This is my first uh, sort of full renovation. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna completely take it all apart. Um, I'm only going to do the brakes, the tyres, um, I've done the actual engine itself. Um, and then, uh, what, th then I'll put it all back together and I'll sell it and I'll see. Because if I can get a decent amount of money for it... Yeah, if I can get a decent amount for it, um, and it's not just the fact that it's um, the money that I, have, I, I specifically sold, put on the car, then I will consider... Um, let's have a look. So, we have... See, the brake drum and a brake... See, that brake drum is terrible. But one is fine. So let's just... So let's put one on. Because that one's okay. And that's it. And then we'll do the other one. Brake drum... Okay. So now that's the brake drums on those sides. So both of them are okay. One caliper is okay. The other caliper needs changing. Uh, brake, one brake caliper, one pad, really. So 
So I need one break caliper and one break pad. Pad. There we go. Now that'll do for now. Again, I don't want to renew. I don't want to rebuild the whole car. Because the way I look at it is if I rebuild the whole car, I want to make sure that I definitely get enough money. However, if I get to a point where... Um, if I get to a point where I do do all of this, make put all this effort in over two weeks just to rebuild this whole car, but when I actually finish, I just get the, the value that I've added, it just gets put on top, then I'm going to have problems. At that point, it will be, okay, I'm not going to play this anymore, or I might start a new profile just so I can do story missions again, because that's the thing I need to make the money and the experience on. Alright, so now it's just... Now it's just... Rims and tyres. So let's go to groups. So these are what we got. We got a uh, rim Atlanta. Let's uh, separate one and just see. Okay. So I'm going to just give it the same that I had. If I can buy the same. Alright, so this is the tyre. It's the Rim Atlanta 15ET0. So I'm buying four of them. Okay, and by all accounts, these are the tyres. I think I've got everything correct. It was 15. Um, it's 215 and 70. So I'm going to assume the 70R is, is this bit here. And we will see if they fit. So, oh no, don't want to separate anything else. Uh, install. Hey, there you go, we can do it. For a minute I wasn't sure what was going on because I've got so many other rims in my inventory. Um, but I just have to make sure I select the right one. Like that. That was completely the wrong one. It's the Rim Atlantic. And it's the new tyre. And we can balance them while we're making the others. <laughs> We get both machines working at once, why not? Lovely. And then we'll take that one and we'll balance another one. And then this should be the last one to do. Um, and then we only have to balance the rest of them. So now we'll take that. There we go. So that's all the tyres put together. That is two of them balanced. 
and then in theory that will then be the entire uh, car put together and that's when all the big mathematics works out my spreadsheets all open and waiting I'm gonna work out how much the whole thing has cost me then I'm gonna sell all my parts Um, take that. In fact, if I sell all the all of the do the dodgy parts that I've replaced, oh, and then work out the difference, I can work out both differences. Oh, look at them! Looking lovely. I think I've still got one to balance, actually. I'm not sure, we'll see. Oh yeah, I probably have. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the... Okay. Well, I mean, it's one of those arguments as well that this is probably the longest that it takes anything is, is this. So, um... And, and then, obviously, yeah, the experience is going up, but not much. We're basically getting, like, one experience every time um, I take anything on or off. Okay. And we'll put this on. There we have it. So let's just make sure that everything is actually on. There's a couple of question marks still, but everything is actually on. That's the main thing. Now if I lower this down, there it is. So technically it needs a little bit of body work and a little bit of uh, framework. But it's got lovely new tyres, a gorgeous new shiny engine sticking out the top. So that's an awful lot of work gone in. I, th I feel. Let's put it back to the. Let's put it back to the entrance. There you go. I wish I could spray it. I really do. I really wish I could just give it a new new coat of paint and get rid of that rust because that's what really annoys me more than anything. Okay, so it says thirty four four oh seven. So, what we're going to do is on my spreadsheet, it's all going to go quiet, maybe. It goes quiet during stream, and I'm not sure if it's going to go quiet. Um, so, I'm going to put here the money left is that. Um... Okay, so it's showing that I've actually spent almost exactly the same amount. So I've practically, I've used half of my money from when I started. Which means... Um, it's saying that the car total value at the start was 21,000. And the car total now, if I add the cost that I've spent on it, is uh, 14,000. So the two of them together comes to 35,489. So technically, if I'm being funny about it, um, I have lost out. Um, in fact, let me just write that down so I can work out. Cell four, three, four, four, oh, seven. All right, so I'm going to go through my infantry now and sell all the parts. I don't think there's any parts I want to keep 
that are especially below 50 realistically I think anything that's below 50 can definitely go anything above 50 well realistically all of these are all 100% on my new parts so realistic anything below 90% I can just sell off sell the parts yeah there you go bop get rid of all of that stuff close that See, the one thing I would like to do is to go to the car auctions and sell a car, but I don't think I can... It won't let me do it. I don't know if I can go to the auctions if it is an upgrade. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether it's something I need to... Is it here? Show... All your average value of your car at auction. See at the moment, I don't know that I can do auctions. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't think I have any other way of selling it. But okay, so I'll sell it now. 34407. And I get 34407. Leaving me with that much money. Alright, so now that I've finished, um, looking, at, looking back at all the stats, I started with 29 grand cash. And I am left with 52 grand. That is 23,000. That I have made after paying out for all the parts. So in itself, that for me is a pretty decent profit. That is not bad at all. I am going to give it another try. However, I'm never going to upgrade... Um, and until I can actually get to respray or do story missions again so as much as I don't want to do this next week let's have a little walk around next week I feel like I might just restart as a new profile just because I just I don't know going to barns buying cars is all well and good, but I really need this. Because I need to be able to expand my car, uh, my area and everything. And this is level 12. And I'm only on uh, 7 at the moment. So I'm, I'm quite a way off getting the chance to do the extra stuff. So, um, I'm not sure. So now you see I'm back in another barn. Um, and you see you've got a nice car here. Which is a Luxor. Quite a nice colour. And you got an even nicer DC Typhoon here, um, which could do with quite a lot of work. However, I feel like, I mean, this car, for example, is 29,000. If I buy that car, go to the garage.
So here it is. See, this is actually in much better condition on the outside. Um, yeah, the body parts are quite good, and there's some parts missing from it. There's no front bumper. However, I can sell it for 33 already. So I can, without doing anything to it, I can already make f 33 grand on this. So I don't honestly... So I don't know. I don't know. I need to have a think. I need to work out what I'm going to do. And I need to work out if this is going to be worth carrying on as is. Or if... Or if I'm going to start a new account so that I can actually get some decent missions up again. Um, and, and I can whiz through it a bit better than I have been because I'm a bit more adept now than I was at the start. However, that will be the end of this video for now. So, uh, next week I should be back live. Tomorrow I will be streaming... It will be around 5 o'clock UK time, and it is going to be Forager. I'm enjoying that at the moment. If you've missed it all, go back and have a look. Um, it's in my video listings. And like I said, um, by all means, come along and check me live on Tuesday, Wednesdays and Thursdays. If I can't do live, um, I will tend to do a video like this, so it won't I won't miss anything. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.